We started to mention this before we brought Leroy on. The Browns signed a tackle yesterday in Ty Neschke, the 37-year-old <laughs> veteran. Played on nine teams in the league. That's ridiculous. I'm looking big picture, guys. I don't think Neschke's the answer, but real quick, we'll spend five minutes on this before we move on. Practice squad, right? Do the Browns yes. have enough at tackle currently to keep Deshaun Watson upright for the next 16 games? Or do you think they have to go out and find a veteran option or a younger option, just even for some depth, to make sure that their star quarterback stays healthy. I tell you what, not having the tackle could really kill the whole season. I've seen so many quarterbacks that, especially on a collegiate level, where they were supposed to be for sure first round picks and not having a left tackle killed their draft stock. So it can be fatal. Um, I'm hoping that Kevin Stefanski is good enough and wise enough to realize that, you know, his tackles can't be put in one-on-one -on -one situations quite often. Deshaun Watson is a great athlete, but I mean, you're talking about guys like Andrew Luck's career is being cut short. You talk about Justin Fields right now, who's getting sacked at a high clip. So it can't kill it. Um, I trust Bill Callahan to get things done. I would be more... Um, was the secure I'd feel more secure if they did have a veteran tackle in the world those are tough to find in the middle of September. yes it is it's, it's not really it's tough. really not you know, really not likely I did some homework um I, I reached out to bull and they cut the Bengals cut Lyle Collins right um I, I actually he was on the pup list um mm -hmm. And I was listening to James Rapine, and he was talking about they didn't know whether it was a thing where he was off the pup list, he passed the physical, but he wanted to play. They weren't Eric to take Fisher, him. wasn't he the first pick of the uh, draft? Yeah, Eric Fisher. he was. Uh, Lyle Collins also was due seven million roster bonus, and you know the Bengals ain't got no money. They 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 bouncing checks after that Joe Burrow deal. Well, you know, he so was, they they needed that seven right back. Like, he, well, he was the he was Joe Burrow's bodyguard. Remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I don't know, and I asked Bull, I said, you watch him every day. Is he an upgrade? He's like, well, he, he was much better three years co after coming from the Cowboys. He's had two significant injuries while he's on the pub list. That's what scares me. Yeah, two significant injuries. I mean, what's his age? 30. So, I, you know, I, you know, kick the tires on that one, but... Um, Look, I got, I'm going to give the Browns credit. He played left tackle, we, we, right? We sat here for... Yeah, I think he did. We played for two weeks. We really took it to the Browns about the way they were handling the kicker. First of all, really the whole preseason. I felt they needed to have a kicker in camp mm -hmm. from day one. Mm -hmm. They didn't. I thought that was a mistake. I think they gave Cade York every chance in the world, which yeah. I understand he's a draft pick. You've got something invested in him. Yeah. But when they were kicking the tires on the kicker market, we sat here and dragged them over the coals for not bringing in Robbie Gold. And I know he's older, but he had all of his kicks last year. He's a Pro Bowl kicker. Mm -hmm. And he's a money kicker in, in big kicks. And they went and signed a guy that wasn't even on our radar. <laughs> we, we listed five kickers that were available on the open market. Well, he wasn't available. We, uh, some of the guys that we listed weren't available either, but we knew that there was, they were in a kicking battle and they were likely to lose. Okay. In New England, we knew that they were going to keep the rookie okay. and they were going to cut the veteran. But none of us, none of us, mentioned Hopkins no. and and they uh, so well, that's far, not true he was on our graphic we didn't spend any time at all <laughs> talking about him as the answer he was we put 10 options up there he was okay on the graphic. it took 10 <laughs> options I was number 11 he was in the I'm graphic. just saying he was on the graphic Don't okay. say nobody say, mentioned him. no but I mean, what I'm saying is nobody sat in any of these chairs and advocated that, why aren't they no, signing Hopkins that is totally fair and well, the he, Browns now I know it's one week small sample size that he might miss his next three kicks but so far, we have to give the Browns credit because oh, yeah. they didn't go out and overpay for, for, for Robbie Gold. They went out and they got a name that we were all like, huh? And so far, so good. Now, can they do so that? I trust they're going to do the same can thing Can they do tackle. that with left tackle? I trust they will. What I will say about the Browns, and if, what they've shown just this whole season and this offseason is that they know what's at stake. And I, yeah, they I don't know care. What time it is. I don't care who you are. <laughs> they ain't keeping you around. For I, I agree you, with that. They, if it's they're a problem, acting, they go fix the problem. Yeah. And, and here's the best <laughs> part, part about it. 
the guy that came in that's going to start for Jack Conklin should be getting all the smoke. But 95% of the people ain't worried about Dewan Jones. They worry about Jed Wills. <laughs> that's funny because that it might be true. It's a big question. Be yeah, true. it's not just Dewan Jones. It is equally as concerned yeah, on the right. other okay, side. Okay, now true. I know there's concern, and, I, and I, I'm just going to be devil's advocate because I like doing that. Are you, you and Jason oh, really? now? I'm concerned too. <laughs> okay. But, but for the sake of discussion, and I think this should be thrown out there, it's not like we haven't seen Jed Wills and Dewan Jones for you know, ever. They held up against a Cincinnati Bengals front line that I think everyone would agree is probably slightly above average. And they didn't get Deshaun Watson killed in that game. Tomorrow, last week? Last week. Well, it's because he's mobile. Exactly, but that's he's going to be mobile the rest of the year, we hope. Listen. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm just trying you to, plan trying with to calm fire. concerns. At what point, you got a quarterback that's $230 million. At what point is, can he feel comfortable just sitting in the Look, pocket and throwing the ball? I watched Hudson against Pittsburgh a couple of years ago. Well, I don't think he's that good either. Man, man. Play after play after play, and they gave him no help. Guess and what? And Baker was a sitting duck back there, and they never adjusted. Well, I, what, I can tell you that. And this. what happened to Baker the so next year? <laughs> well, I yeah. Damn. Okay. Okay, but, but, okay. but here's my point. We knew in 4.6 seconds, Hudson ain't it. We knew. <laughs> you think, do you think? I, it might have been designed. Well, look, everybody thought that Hudson would probably be the guy that comes in. And what happened? Uh, Dewan Jones was number the, two on that depth chart, whether I, I, we knew it or not. I, I think the thing about so what are you what are you insinuating? I'm, I'm saying I haven't seen anything yet. I, I know Will Jed Wills is standing around a lot of times looking for company, uh, and it, and he's missing assignments. I understand that, and that is reason for concern. But also, Hudson wasn't it, and we all knew it. Four snaps into the Pittsburgh game, we're like, this is going to be he. Baker or, will leave on a gurney. Well, the Bleacher Report suggests something, too. I, they did. Talk about that. You call, you sent that to the I did, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Bleacher, so Bleacher Report said they came out with the five trades that must happen after week one. And it was a lot of good trades in there. They had the Browns. And this is NFL-wide. Yeah. Not just for the yeah, Browns, this is, Yeah, this is all NFL. Hey, Ty, Ty, before you go on, this was five signings, not trades they want to see. Marcus Cannon's a free yeah. agent right now. Sorry. Sign yeah, him. signings, my fault. And Marcus Cannon was the one for the Browns. They said that the tackle position, obviously Jack Conklin going down, and Jed Wills with the question mark. They said Marcus Cannon would be the perfect fit for him. He was an expatriate. I think they took him in the fifth round, they do said. You, do you like that? So would you like that signing? Hey, listen, the Patriots, what's the history on the Patriots offensive alignment? They usually do. They're usually pretty good. Pretty good. They're you know, discipline football, I, yep. but it's a reason that he's without a job. That's true, too. So, right. I would kick the tires on him. I mean, it, at the most part, you know, he should at least be disciplined. He's played football. Taylor Lewan, no way. Eric Fisher, never. <laughs> he was a friend. Remmers, I think he would be an outlier. Um, Collins, I'm interested in that, but I, 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 I have all those names. Why, why, what's wrong with Eric Fisher. Be, be, be What's sure. wrong with Eric Fisher? He's very old. Before Not that. only that, like the guy, you know, look, when you're the overall number one, you, it comes with a stigma, man. It comes, <laughs> yeah, but dude. it also comes with a target. Before y'all say no. He's been given multiple chances and he's just not that I, guy. I just, I just said McNuggets something on, on the tag board. Maybe they could put it up. Before you say no to these guys, just let's just take a look at some of the film work that Jed has been putting out. <laughs> you love this. And, 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 I know, and I know, and I know for a fact we say he's not going to get Deshaun Watson killed, but it, it, listen, he got oh, Jack Conklin it's killed. It's a lot of almost in that man. And, Gee, and, who'd you send it to? Uh, Ultimate Cleveland Sports Show on YouTube or chart, not YouTube, but Twitter. Uh, Twitter. Twitter. Send it on Twitter. We've seen this video before. Every time I watch it, it makes me laugh and it also the, makes me nervous. Is it? I wonder if it's that. You've it's, seen it, no, Ty. It's, it's the play Jack Conklin gets hurt. I, I don't, oh, it's that one? Yeah. It's the Olay. The Olay. Like, like that, we, we look, we're not worried about Jack Conklin getting hurt. That's just part of the game. We're not saying you set him up. Everybody up here is is is. is savvy me, I hope to you understand. can pull that because I never but, really got to see. So what, what the, it, it's, it, it's, it's, I'm looking at his technique, and, and so everybody can stop saying, that they, oh, they, he's not that bad. Well, bro, I'm, I'm showing you right here. Actions he's that bad. Louder than words. Look. Friendly. It's, it's, it ain't even. It ain't even. It's not even that. It's how. I didn't, I didn't it's how he whole. gets beat off the ball. Yeah, we didn't see it from the beginning. It, you almost need to see that from the beginning. It, it, it's like I mean, 
Guys are. He's already passed him seven yards in the backfield. If it was a hundred meter dash, the gun went off, and he was still in the blocks while everybody was at the twenty. Like hey, it, his reaction it. time is not exactly uh, what we want well, at he, that position. Trey, yeah, Hendrickson is still a top tier. He's a good one. DN, so all. So let me tell you this. <laughs> so is if, TJ Watt, if bro. He on the other side. If you, so if you are, he if you on are, the other someone's side. Someone's going to stop him. If they so happen to put him on the left. If you are, like, no, if you are a problem. starting defensive end in the AFC, you are good that's, by default. That's right. All I'm no, you're right. Yeah, like, yeah that's, start, that's true. That is true. You're good. He's not going to see nobody <laughs> that's trash. Well, this is what they, they – man. David and Joku better be. He gonna sit. This is what we gonna do. We gonna call the play. We're we gonna we go, Hoy we go break the Chippa huddle. Hoy. And wherever, <laughs> wherever T.J. Watt is, uh, that's the side David and Joku is lining up for. Yeah, and he yeah. helping out on that side. That's what you yeah. got to do. He's he's gonna be his shadow. Yeah, 